Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're actually going to be doing a very interesting unboxing. Um, this is from the company called Maniology. They are located in actually Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, I'm going to keep the package turned this way because I still have the address label on the other side. So I'll be pulling everything out this way and I did already tear it open. Um, I haven't peeked at anything, but we will do an unboxing and you'll have my actual thoughts on this and to see if it's worth it i will link everything below in the description box and i did purchase everything myself so stay tuned for the unboxing all right so they did ship it in a flat rate i believe i did pay 7.99 for shipping which is great that it actually comes in flat rate because that does mean it's insured um, basically if you don't know what that means if i would have gotten this and let's say it would have been destroyed Versus me going to the company and explaining to them, hey, my package was destroyed and holding them accountable for something they could not control. Um, you do have the option to file an insurance claim through the manufacturer, through the post office. So I did order a few things in here. The first thing I ordered, this is a three ring binder uh, stamping plate starter kit. Um, I wish I would have pulled it out of here before the video. That way it's not all bent. Um, I did purchase a binder. I believe I bought that from Walmart. So we'll put all of that in there and we'll actually see. Um, so far, these do feel like nice quality. They are really thick um, and you can put them on front and back. Now over here to my right, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but I do have a bunch of my plates that I've never used, just out different sizes um, to see if it fits all the sizes that I currently own. Um, I haven't really started stamping a lot because I don't have them organized. And that's the biggest reason why I don't use my stamping plates is because they are not organized. Um, and then this, I actually really like this. I thought this was super cute. Um, I like the fact that it has zippers. This is a mesh pocket on the front. That way you can put like your little stamping tools and scrapers in there. And then you also have a bigger zipper. Um, I don't know what I would actually put in there yet, but we will find out. So on the front, you do have these bigger squares. And I do have these longer plates. These aren't as big as these, but it does fit in here, which is kind of nice. These are made for size plates that I don't actually own. All the plates that I have are actually pretty small. Um, but there will be more to come once I actually learn how to do stamping. Now, so I have front and back of these, which makes 12 per page, which is, I think that's actually pretty great. Um, and then these are gonna be the long ones. So these are gonna be made for this size plate. I don't even remember where I got these from. Let me see, I still have some in their packaging. I don't know if it tells me the size of them and it doesn't. So I will just use one I already have open just to see if it fits. So it does fit in there actually pretty much all the way and I can fit four here and two on this side and it is front and back as well, which I also think is great. And I get three four pages front and back of those. There's 12 per page. I think that's great as well. Um, I do have currently have a lot of stamping plates and even some that I can't find. Um, and then these are going to be the smaller squares. So the smaller squares, I'm going to assume will fit my round ones. Yes, they do fit the round ones. And let's see if it fits this. So it doesn't fit this size. Um, I'm not sure what size that one is, but I do know it. it, it is from Born Pretty because I have another one as well. It doesn't fit, so only my round ones will fit in to these little squares, which I have quite a few round ones as well, so that's actually pretty good. I can actually fit, probably fit them all in here and plus some. So I do like that. So you have 12 on the front and 12 on the back, which is 24 per page, and you get four pages. Um, I think that's great. And then, so the bigger squares from the beginning of this, 
this uh, this page is with the bigger ones I would probably put these in here because they don't fit anywhere else for right now um, I'll probably reach out to them and ask them about that to see if they make one that's a little bit bigger than these smaller ones for my round ones maybe I can just purchase the pages which I think would be pretty great of them versus buying a whole nother kit I believe this was priced at $15 so I do believe that this was well worth the money so I do agree this is worth the money I just got to get it flattened out so there's no curve um the next thing in here I actually purchased a proper stamper um so all the stampers that I have come from eBay or Amazon or in some form of box of some kind that I've ordered somewhere um and I've always had issues with stamping where I can't pick the image up now, I've come to the idea that it's two things. The first problem, it could be because I don't use a stamping polish, I use a regular polish. And the second issue um, could be the stamper itself that it doesn't actually work appropriately. Um, so I figured spending the money on a decent stamper and scraper might increase my odds of actually being able to stamp properly. Um, I did watch a video on another YouTube channel on how to properly keep them sticky. I tested that on these little ones, these off-branded ones, and it definitely works. Um, I believe it was by a YouTuber, I'm trying to remember her name. I'll link it in the description box if I don't post it in the video. But she suggested using a lint roller. I tried that on these and it worked great. Um, it stayed sticky. Like I actually had lint all over it. I recently moved around six months ago. So it was full of lint and I wanted the lint off. Even now this one is full of lint. I'm not going to actually open this. But this is a smaller stamper with a cute little scraper. I'm actually going to put that back in here. This, I believe, was $7.99 or something like that. So it's not too badly priced. I think I might have an invoice in here. Yeah, so I do have an invoice, but it doesn't tell me how much I spent. Yeah, it doesn't tell me how much I spent. Um, and the nail plate sleeves, they're called a build your own nail plate storage kit starter kit. That's what that is called. And then this is called the ice cube clear rectangle stamper with scraper. Um, and then I also have one more thing. They had a hot mystery deal 20 for $20. Um, I really, really like mystery boxes. I always have subscription boxes from many companies. Macy's, FabFitFun, all those kinds of companies. Um, and I do have some that I do review on my channel every single month. So this is a complete mystery. Everything in here, it seems to be packed really well. Um, let's see if we can get into this. So I'm actually going to start with this. Um, I'm going to work to the bigger stuff. So these look, I don't know why this one's not in a sleeve. But these are nail vinyls. Um, you basically cut it out, you either put it in your polish or in your acrylic, and you basically mush it down, let it dry, and peel it off, and it gives you an instant design. Um, so we got this pattern. I hope this is actually focusing. It's extremely hollow. Um, we got this one, which is gold. It's actually really pretty. Um, and then on the back, which this is why I was kind of confused on why this one came like this. Um, but on the back, it tells you the instructions. I know how to use these, but some people may not. So we got a bunch of different designs. We have another hollow one, a gold one, another gold one. This one looks like cats and hats, maybe like a Harry Potter themed. And this is a bunch of words bunch of different types of words i'm not going to say them all out loud some of the initials may not be very appropriate in case there's kids watching all right this feels kind of heavy um 
if this is what I think it is, I really want to save this to last because I'm actually super excited about what this is. Um, but we'll, we'll save that. So there's a few more little items. So, so far, we're going to... One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six. So there's 14 more items left in here. The next thing I see in here, I will actually be gifting to someone. I do not wear natural nails, so these nail files do not work well for me. But this is pretty. I really, really like it. And it has a flower embedded on it there, as well as in the handle. Um, these are glass files. I actually think my Nana would really love this. Um, she has natural, naturally long nails. She doesn't wear acrylic. She doesn't wear gel. So I think this would go well for her. I'd probably break this if I tried to file my own nails. So that's pretty. And then I got some stamping plates. I got quite a few actually. Um, and I got a large one, two large ones. Okay. I'm actually kind of excited. And this is some pink foil. I believe this is nail foil. You put it on your tacky layer of gel and you peel it off and it leaves the color. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I'll probably do a demo of that on a later date because I have done demos on those before. So let's open all these nail plates. So this one is from bundlemonster.com. It has sand and sea. So this one is a bunch of fish, a bunch of sea creatures. This next one is also from the same company. Um, it's puppy dogs, which is super cute. All right, this one's called a botanicals plate. It's from the same company as well. And this one has a bunch of little flowers on it. These are super cute. After I show you all this organizing, we're going to have to do a stamping vi video. Even if I fail at it, I'm still going to try it out with this new stuff I got. Um, this one doesn't say what it is, but it has a lot of lines and designs through it. I really like it. I think that would be really pretty multicolored if I actually get that great at stamping. And we're just going to cut this one open. I don't know why things have to be handicapped for me to open since I can't peel anything open my nails get in the way of opening everything this one same thing bunch of lines this is I, this one looks super cool this one even looks like a giant snowflake I really like this one as well this is another botanicals I wonder if they sent me the same one twice oh they are different Let's see if I can get it out of here. Um, this is a bunch of flowers. Now keep in mind when you do this, um, some of the nail plates I'll show you look like this. They're silver and then this is blue. So the blue is just a film. Make sure you peel the film off before you use it. Otherwise you will laugh at yourself uh, because nothing works at that point. Um, so this is called a single XL plate. Oh, this is actually a giant plate. I actually like the fact that it has a hard piece on the back uh, versus some of the ones I have don't have a hard piece on the back. They're just the metal. Um, so we see tic-tac-toes. I see pound signs, hashtags. Sorry, I'm a little bit old school on that. Paint swipes. So this is actually pretty cool. This is a special effects one. And then we also have this one. And this one is a Christmas design. There's ornaments up here. I would say this one's more for Christmas. Um, it is labeled the Nutcracker. So that I would assume that would be Christmas. Right. So I love the nail plates. I really was not expecting to get any type of nail plates in this. Um, because it did say 20 for 20, nail plates are semi-expensive. Um, so I actually thought it was going to be more of a vinyl type of, oh, hey, we're just going to send you a bunch of vinyls. But so far, so good. Um, so far, I love it all. The nail vinyls I'll probably use on my best friend versus myself. Um, she kind of likes that kind of stuff. So I have this and then we have this box left. I'm actually going to open the box and save this one. 
So this is their nail lacquer. So excited for this. I actually hope this is stamping polish. If it's not, I will be quite a bit sad. Um, so stamping art polish. So I am super excited about this. Um, I am going to swatch these for you guys. And I'm just going to openly swatch them. I have swatch sticks here. So it comes with three in this. I'm glad I didn't place my second order because my second order for them had these colors in there. Um, and then they sent me another one that isn't in a box. So let's cut this one open. This is another polish and creative art polish. So I don't know if this is considered a stamping polish or not. Um, but we will find out. I will attempt to use it as a stamping polish. This color is called Malachite um, 8244. I'll start with this color. Now, right off the bat, these polishes do have a smell. Um, they smell like normal nail polish. I've heard some people in their reviews say they prefer polishes without a scent, which is why I'm disclaiming that there is a scent. Um, so this is this color. It's actually really pretty. Um, I actually really like this color. I have some regular nail polishes. I don't use them a lot, um, unless I can use them for stamping purposes. I haven't tried to use them. I prefer gel, just a personal preference. Um, and my grandparents, um, I do my Nana's nails, as well as my best friends. They both prefer gel as well. Um, so it's just about preference. Okay, so we're gonna swatch the orange. Now this is a color I'm super excited about. All right, this is super bright. And definitely something coverage. This has got some coverage on it. You cannot see through that tip. And they come with swatch labels on the top. Um, I'll probably do that at a later date. This is called TP Tipping B154. That is this color. We're gonna do the yellow, and I really like yellow, um, as long as it's the proper color yellow. There are some companies that can screw up a yellow. So this is the yellow. This one is called Gooby U or Gobby U B155. This is actually super cute. I really like this color. I don't think I actually own a yellow. And then we're gonna try this lime color. Now this one as well, definitely full coverage. Um, you definitely get some coverage with this. Can't really see through the tip. For this to be a neon color, I don't think you'll be able to see through that tip. This is called Empire Club B156. Looks like this. All right, so my thoughts on everything that I received, um, I believe I paid around 35 or $40. Do I think it's worth it? Yes. Um, the 20 for 20 definitely impressed me. Um, I actually want to count because I feel like they gave you more than 20 items. So this, I'm going to say counted as one because they were a pack of three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so no, it didn't count. These count as three. So counting it as three polishes, it is 20. So 
I got four polishes, which their, their stamping polishes range. I've seen them on their website for about $3 on up to about $6.50 unless you buy them in a kit. If you buy them in a kit, they are quite a bit cheaper. I think you can get like five or six polishes for $28, which is not a bad deal. Um, I love these polishes. And then one more thing I'm going to do. Um, we are going to organize my stamping plates in this binder. This is a one and a half inch binder that I purchased from Walmart. We're going to organize. Now I'm going to put these smaller ones in the front because I do have more of the smaller ones more of the round ones. I'll probably organize them around once I actually get them all in here and figure out how many of each sheet I can fill because if I have an empty sheet, I'm probably going to put it behind everything. That one wasn't punched out fully. And then I do believe once I put these plates in here, the creases that are in these will come out. Um, I definitely believe that. And these are just super thick, so I'm having some issues trying to bend them to fit in here. making sure these are all the same as I'm putting them in. So I'm not going to peel the blue films off of these as I put them in here. The reason why is because I'm not ready to use them yet. I'll peel the blue flip films off once I actually get ready to use them. But until then, they will remain with a film on them. And I am gonna put this in here as well. So I don't, actually their squares are a different size. So the square ones that they sent me fit in here, but the square ones that I already have will not. So this is the size difference and it's not much, it's just enough so they don't fit. <laughs> so their square, small square ones do fit in here. So I'm not going to put these in any particular order. I'm just going to put them in here just to get them out of a drawer. I was storing them in weird boxes inside of my Alex drawer set. And the box, the little boxes that I had them in were overflowing. I do have quite a few of them and I didn't have any particular way of organizing them or technically keeping up with them. Um, and I've probably ruined quite a few due to them not being stored correctly, which is why I chose to keep the films on them so I didn't ruin them any more than what I've already have. Just trying to pick up all my round ones. Will this one fit? No, nope, that's a bigger one. So all these round ones will fit in here. I'm having to push this flat because of the weird curve in it from it being folded up and put in an envelope. So I'm not gonna put any up here and you're gonna ask me why. Stuff, things to get knocked down in my house. Um, so, I'm not going to put anything on the very top. I'll probably go in and put maybe some decal stickers or something in there. That way if something is in it, or if I find a proper way to put this somewhere so it doesn't get knocked down. But every time you have anything like this with this type of style, usually stuff falls out of the top when it falls over. So I probably won't be putting anything in the very top and I'll just start this one over here. So they do fit nicely um, and it did pull the curve out once I actually put enough of them in there. 
So I'm gonna leave this page in here and then I'm gonna go back here and pull, I'm gonna say two of these and put them right after this. So that way I have full pages versus empty pages. But this does seem to be a very good way. I've seen a lot of people use little small, I believe you can buy stamping plate organizers. Um, I've seen people use those. Those are super cute, but I feel like you have to have way too many because you can't add pages. Um, or if you only have, let's say I only had 60 plates, I would only need this. If I got the other ones that I've seen, I would probably need two or three of those because they only hold about 12 plates. I've never really seen any that were really bigger than that or held more than that. So this is actually pretty great. This is working out great. Um, I do like this. I actually like this a lot. And then I still have these. I haven't even opened these yet, but we'll go ahead and pull them out of here now that I have a where, somewhere to store them. I left them in their sleeves, so of course they didn't get damaged. And these, I do believe I purchased on Amazon. Um, they don't really have a name on them, but they are all different. If I, if I remember the shop that I purchased these from on Amazon, I will link this also in the description box. So this might be difficult. So these are a little bit bigger than the ones that I just put in here, um, but they will work. They will fit in here just with a little, little snugness, but they do fit. And that could be because of one or two reasons. Um, I didn't realize how thick these were. These have the company's logo on the back of them. And I think that's why they're being such a pain to put in because it makes them a lot thicker than the normal plates. All right, so I'm having some issues with this one. There it goes. It just doesn't want to go. All right, so all of those are in here. And then my two that I have that are a little off. I'm gonna go back here again and pull the page that they'll fit in. Put it back up here. I only have two of these, um, so I'll just put these in here. I actually get these in a subscription box. I believe these come in the Fearless Nail Art box, um, as well as one of the round ones that I received um, came in the Fearless Nail Art box. Um, they send a stamping plate with every box, every monthly box. So you do get quite a few, you do end up reoccurring a few stamping plates over the time of having their subscription. Um, these do fit in here. These are just, I think the pockets are too big. Um, I definitely need something a little bit smaller to feel like they won't slide out of here. Um, but yeah, they fit. So I do like this. I, I like it a lot. It's gonna be heavy. That's the only downfall I see to it is if I ever carried this anywhere, it would definitely be heavy. Um, and then in here, I'm actually gonna put the stamping and the scraper in here that I just got and the ones that I already have. I'm gonna put in here as well. That way they're in here, they're stored all together and they won't get lost. All right guys, so that is concluding my video in an unboxing of Maniology. Um, I definitely approve of their company. I definitely approve of the price. Everything seems to be pretty affordable um, and the quality of everything seems to be awesome. Um, I don't think I've seen any reviews from them. Um, I won't say from them, I'll say I haven't seen any reviews posted about them. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend. Leave your comments in the description, leave your comments below, subscribe to my channel, 
And don't forget, I'll leave a link to everything I purchased inside the description box. Thanks and have a good day.